pasty not sharing it because I bought it with my money. In. Care now. Having a nosy. But do you know any little bits of the whole United original Campbell? Right on. Cambon was just a village until transformed by the mining boom, which began in the late 18th century. The Cambon and Red Roof district became the richest area of mining in the world. Where are you going with that bloody Cosmo? <laughs> so uh, this is Cambon Parish Church, is it? Lovely church, isn't it? Well, Real nice. It's a beautiful place. Well, clearly it's a beautiful place. It's a beautiful day. Apart from the mines themselves, Camborne was also home to many important related industries, including the once world-renowned foundry, Holman's Bros Limited. The Holman Projector, an anti-aircraft weapon that was used by the Royal Navy. The Holman Projector, the brainchild of the late Treve Holman. Well, he's a man with um, a very inventive brain, with a great deal of experience in compressed air applications, and it's not altogether surprising that um, his thought, short, thoughts should turn to how um, a compressed air gun could be developed. In fact, uh, this is the result of his, of his experiments. Yes. Did you know Holman's was a family-run business founded in 1801? And for Camborne and Cornwall, it was the largest manufacturer of industrial equipment back in 1801. Even making the famous STEM submachine gun for a stint during the Second World War.
handsome, nice looking building there. Of course. Lovely packet of crisps here, 75p per pack, two for £1.17. Oh, shame it's closed, mine. Now, I tell you what, the Cornish language was the language of the area around Canmore until the beginning of the 18th century. And it is recorded that everyone living west of Truro spoke Cornish in 1644. Colonel de Croissants? Nothing. Shit all. We couldn't have been more wrong. We went into the Vivian Arms to sample their fine beers and ales. And roll over Janet was there. Inside, we met the ex-mayor, Colin Godolphin. Oh, the pork scratchings we had, oh, they were lovely bits of puffed up pork rind. They were handsome. And roll over Janet was there. So Excuse me, Janet. What you said, lovely lady. Lovely lady, yeah. <laughs> you definitely Hello, need lady. double specs over it, mate. <laughs> hey, fucking hell. Excuse me, Janet, can I have a pint of your finest fosters, please? Oh, I Thank you ever so much. Yeah, John and Mucker. Right. Too young to be in the frigging mine. Colin was a pit pony. She should be a man. <laughs> Thank you. Go down the mine. You're too young to be serving beer, aren't you? Yeah, believe you're right. How many years were you the mayor of Campbell? Then? I was mayor. Uh, two years ago, yeah. and then deputy mayor for the last two years. Right. But I've been a councillor for the last 30 years this oh, year. Here, in Campbell. In Campbell. Oh, <laughs> Good joke. <laughs> <laughs> On Christmas Eve, 1801, a full-size steam-powered locomotive was built by the Campbell engineer Richard Hibbitt. <laughs> made its way up Camborne Hill. It was the world's first self-propelled passenger carrying vehicle. So you must know quite a lot about Richard Trevithick. Well, he, he's, he's the most famous, or one of the most famous people from Camborne. Um, actually, he invented the, it was the first car would that be the Puffin Devil? Or? That's it. Um, what happened was he was coming up Camel Hill, Camel which Hill. is down TAD Road, as a lot of people would know it. And um, he got halfway up, and because it was Christmas Eve, he decided to stop and go in for a pint. And uh, didn't turn the engine, or didn't turn the steam off, and so it blew up. Straight back down then? <laughs> well, it blew up, actually. Oh, no. <laughs> so. Which but, um, is, oh, bloody hell. What you got to say, Deputy Mayor, on this question, please? <laughs> Talking about Camel Hill, have you been down there and seen the plaque for it? We, we sung a good, we sung, we sung, a, we sung, a, we sung a song there. Going up Camel Hill, coming down. Going up Camel Hill, coming down. The horses stood still and the hills coming round. Going up, come on, hell, coming down. Some good old song, like that. Uh, going up, come on, hell, coming down. Coming down. down. <laughs> going up. Oh, you're not going. You're not going. You're going. Sorry, he actually went to school with you, then. Right. <laughs> what it is is. It's like the dance on to Vidic, though. It's. The children go forward, go up, go back, go up, go back. Then the one in the middle stands still, and the two go out, come in, go out, go in, and then they go up, go down. What it is, is going up, come on, coming down, going up, come on, coming down. You all stood still, but the wheels went around, so <laughs> what it is, is it's a steam engine. There wasn't any water, but the wheels still went around because of the the engine, the wheels on the steam engine still went around. Well, like I say, it's the last Saturday in April. You want to come down and 
Have a look. There you go. Why have you got just? How come you got just roll on the back? Well, when I was going, it's got to be a story. When I was doing it with some bloke, right? When I started here, he said I was upstairs shagging all the bloke. So he, was, he, was, he, was, he didn't say that, did he? He did. He said yeah. what? He said I was upstairs shagging all the blokes. Hey, true first one. He wasn't one of them, was he? No. I no. hope not. Hey, not all the wives take her at night. So my boss got me this sweatshirt, Just Roll Janet. Just Roll Janet? Yeah, it's like a pastry in it. Just roll her over. Just roll her over. Yeah. Yeah. That's not very nice, is it? <laughs> But it's all in good jest, isn't it? It's a bit yeah, cool. <laughs> on, isn't it? No, it's hey, got so rid of it. Hey, fucking ride, mate. Yes. <laughs> good rolling. <laughs> like a rolling pin. <laughs> oh, Janet. Right, Scott, let's go look at some sights. See you later, Ollie. Camborne, a place full of many charity shops, a vast selection of items, clothing, children's toys, everything for all of the family. <laughs> <laughs> Got some games down here. Some more games over here. Kids books, mine. Nice shoes. Oh. Got a few buttons down here. These are nice. Close to own race night, definitely. A few divots in there. Double divots. Single divots. King size divots. Lovely. I like yeah. jeans. I don't usually wear them myself, but I do like jeans. They're nice. Oh. Nice singlets. Peculiar picture of cats, that's nice. Oh, dinosaur hunt, oh, I like a dinosaur hunt, me. Grandson of the bar. Oh, look at that, that's frightening. Oh, right, we have a winner here. <laughs> oh, it's got a lovely bag to it and all. Is it Brunswick? Oh, hello there. Here we are in the middle of Camborne at the Spinney, a local doorstep green project, situated next to the cemetery wall, an old boundary wall, and also, if you'll notice to the right of me, locals' Christmas trees. As you can see here, these benches are shaped like the, uh, the seeds of the sycamore tree. Must be why they call this place the Spinney tree. Come up and down, spin rain, pool on the ground. Have it. Ready, oh, look at that. I can't believe Colin's still drinking with Ollie in the pub. I know every level in coffee, I'll take around coffee in my head. Yeah. Pretty handsome that there, isn't it? Lovely bit of engine house. That's handsome. Down where they pump the water out down there, that's lovely. Look at that. Oh. Hell. You wouldn't want to get stuck up here on a stormy night, would you? Accidentally fall between the grills. No, you wouldn't. And they're right, it is in very good condition too. Well, the Puffin Devil was. Richard did it, um, Stevenson's was the rocket, wasn't it? Right, yeah. And Stevenson nicked the idea and put it on rails, that's why he, they say about Stevenson who invented the steam engine. Now, 
All that is visible today of the Great Condor Mine is the imposing engine house that used to contain an 80 inch engine working the 1,700 foot deep wolf shaft. Now, the engine itself was third hand as it had previously pumped water from West Chiverton Mine and also Gwenup United Mines. The engine house is in such good condition as it only dates from about 1906 when the mine was last briefly reopened. Condoro produced its first ore in 1818 when 29 tonnes of copper ore was sold. From 1856 to 1865, the mine produced 30,495 tonnes of 6.5% copper ore, 2,030 tonnes of black tin, 6.5 tonnes of pyrite and 34 tonnes of arsenic. Now that is a heck of a lot. In Tucker Mill, in Cameron, they also invented the safety fuse. The dynamite. The dynamite. Well, it's used in dynamite now. Yeah. Seen. in there, 80 years young, working them levers like a pro. Lovely. Here he is, working the old Holman drill. Drilling there into the rock there, the old Holman drill. Beautiful, lovely. Here we have the man, South Crofty coming up the lift there. A few people leaving there. Oh, good, strong, working Cornish men. Now you see this here about South Crofty really dear to me, dear to my family, lots of my family work down there in the mines. That almond drill held steady in my great grandfather's hands, oh he did some drilling down there. When he was hoping to take up the wheel chain, yeah yeah yeah, I mean what was all this process coming to? Yeah, I'll tell you something now, I, 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 me and all that yeah. load of rubbish. When the bloody lovely lot, if you do, if you're fortunate enough to have a hot summer, all you can hear, oh, it's too hot, it's too hot. It's particularly bad probably down here, I, I should imagine. Yeah. You know, a lot of moaners. There's no facilities for nothing. Yeah. Nothing. Colin, you know what you're saying? I agree with you, Peter. It's, 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 it's a little portion. Yeah. yeah. 2020, they said they're going to reopen. Yeah. No way.
They're living in La La Land. Here, now, it might not be obvious to you, but Cam Warren's town clock has been revealed to be the little brother of London's Big Ben. The town clock here, which dates from 1875, and the capital's larger and more famous version, were both built by clockmakers Bent of London. It's a lot smaller than Big Ben, but basically, same animal in it. <laughs> Black and gold as well, Cornish. Cornish colours. <laughs> but Smiths weren't very happy with that in front of the shop, <laughs> were they? Well, there's 16,000 people in town on that day. Jesus Christ. Yeah. Warren's going to have sold a few pasties, well, yeah. They? <laughs> Listen here. Cornwall has enjoyed a reputation as a land apart, a legendary kingdom inhabited by peskies, giants, fairies and witches delike. Ever since the railways first made mass tourism possible in the later 19th century, Cornwall continues to be regarded as a particularly witchy place. Far from being the preserve and fancy of folklore, however, a considerable body of evidence suggests that belief in witchcraft formed a serious part of the way Cornish people over the past 500 years viewed their world. Legend has it that witch beliefs offered a means to understand misfortune and illness, and a way to measure moral conduct. By the 14th century, ancient notions of the efficacy of sorcery and enchantment had commingled with Christian belief in the devil. Now, it was believed possible to be overlooked or begrudged by an ill wish from a witch, resulting in misfortune or even death. Relations between friends and neighbours could be affected in close-knit village communities if witchcraft was suspected in the area. In the 17th century, Cornwall was witness to a dozen or so witch trials held at the Assize Courts at Launceston. Cornish men and women found themselves hauled before the courts, accused of bewitching cattle and of murdering children. Some of them were executed at the time. In 1675, Mary Glass was accused of murdering 11-year-old Isabella Hawking of Campbell by witchcraft. You're hell. The witchcraft police largely died out during the early 18th century. Mutilated animals from suspected witchcraft appear on farms to this day. History in Oh no. <laughs> Lost in music, Camborne, lovely record store. Here you can find lots of vinyl, you know, rock and roll, country, blues, folk, you name it, electro. If you like that kind of thing, come to Lost in Music in Camborne. It's a lovely record store. Nice chap inside. <clears throat> New boots and panties there, look. That's the other one I need. Is there any more injury? Yeah, yeah, there's a few here. We've got one. Trevor, Trevor, oh, yeah, yeah, you got that one there. I think that's a collection, is it? Or no, it's do it yourself. That one. There's a few different copies of that. That one's got a nice care. We negotiated prices on vinyls. This is out back. Dusty spot. Edges are a bit ruffled. Lucky to have seen it. It was covered in dust that much. Yeah. I can smell bullshit. <laughs> and we studied the collection. Oh, yeah. We were at awe with the amount of stock that he had. Something quite rare for a Cornish town. Especially surprised to find it in Campbell. Do you get the part? I mean, this 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 case is she's all right. No, that's all right. That is. I know that's all right. It's got mould on. No, a bit of alcohol, That's get that off. You're in Cornwall and you expect <laughs> fucking mould. <laughs> For the lot, 1450. Lovely. There's a lot more that goes on in Camborne than you think. <laughs> She's come down going. Yeah, have a look. Oh, look at that. Oh.
So here we are in Camborne. As well as a place steeped in history, there is absolute beauty here. It's lovely down here in Camborne. When I was a youngster, I used to go to the Corn Exchange and, <laughs> you know, with the girls and all, but I haven't got much time for that anymore. Come to Camborne, it's a lovely place. The shops are better than Newquay, mind. No. Would you listen to somebody if they said, don't eat that dinner because you don't like the taste of it? Don't listen to the reputation. You best get yourself down here and you enjoy yourself. It's a beautiful place. Do what Twitter Vic would and go up Camborne Hill. Don't go down. Hello, guys. Did, 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 um, did I mention that Rollover Janet was there? Campbell, not what we expected at all.